CNN, the uh, one-time news network uh, known as CNN, uh, they're starting to freak out because uh, people are finding out the truth. So CNN is uh, talking about possibly leaving Twitter. I think this raises a big question about what the free press, what the future of the free press on Twitter looks like. You know, are news organizations going to stand by as the reporters are just, you know, hastily banned without explanation? Uh, CNN is saying it's going to reevaluate its relationship with Twitter based on the response it gets. I want to read you the full statement, Allison. Please. It says, um, the impulsive and unjustified suspension of a number of reporters, including CNN's Donnell Sullivan, is concerning but not surprising. And it goes on to say Twitter's increasing instability and volatil volatility should, have, should be of incredible concern for en everyone who uses Twitter. And then it goes on to say, we have asked Twitter for an explanation and we will reevaluate our relationship based on that response. And I think it's so important to point out that Twitter really needs or really relies on news. I mean, that's what's what the kind of the lifeblood of and Twitter. Journalists. Current events. I mean, they're all no, lady, Twitter does not rely on journalists. You guys have been the prime purveyors of all the lies. And what you're upset about now is that other people have blue checks and everyone's got one of these. And that means that they can be journalists because they can expose you guys when you selectively edit the news, you guys have lied. CNN has lied about everything. I do this all the time. We can go through it. Very fine people on both sides. Brett Kavanaugh is a serial rapist. Jesse Smollett got hung with the, after eating at Subway. All of the lies, right? So they've lied. COVID, all the COVID stuff. It's all, you guys get all of it. CNN has done all of that. So if CNN was to leave Twitter, I think that would be an incredible win and an incredible blow against misinformation, right? If CNN and that clown, Al Oliver Darcy, and the rest of those panelists, if they got off Twitter, and again, they're referencing, what they're referencing is Elon banning temporarily a journalist for having doxxed him. That's what they're referencing. He didn't ban somebody because they said, Elon Musk is a mean dude, okay? These are the very same people who, of course, I don't need Phoenix to Google it for me this time, did not say a word when Dr. Robert Malone and Jordan Peterson and James Lindsay and everybody else was suspended. So the shoe is on the other foot and these people are suddenly realizing what principles are. But dare I say it's a bit too late.